Hello, loved ones. I hope everyone is doing well today. Uh, I'm out here on the river. It's just a beautiful day today. Oh my gosh, it feels so springy and it's beautiful. Um, I thought I would come out here today. Thought I would come out here today. Uh, been doing a lot of reflection, still healing. Uh, working a Know Thyself program. Right now, I'm in getting into um, a lot of the ancestral work. I don't hear a lot of people talk about that, you know. Um, so I come down here to the river to connect with the bloodline because the river represents the bloodline of the ancestors and connecting with our emotions and connecting with spirit. So I'm here. Um, just connecting with the essence of them since I'm doing a lot of ancestry work and I wanted to come here and talk about the ancestors you know doing the ancestors work and what it means psychologically and emotionally uh spiritually what it all means because I don't hear a lot of people speak on that um you know I have a beautiful relationship with my ancestors but not so good with my family of origin. And I'm looking at that. Uh, the ancestors are showing me patterns where I need to heal myself. You know, where I need to heal myself. I love this little statue back here. I love this. It's really beautiful. But the ancestors are showing me where I need to heal myself and where those genetic patterns they wanted to change in themselves and they didn't know how to do it. And so they're really showing me how to do the work or they didn't have the means to do it when they had these patterns, they just didn't know how to get rid of them. And all the medicine that was available, I mean, that they knew about wasn't available to them anymore. So I'm learning so much about my ancestors through looking through my family's psycho, uh, psycho genealogy. For example, the other day, um, I was talking with another cousin and I didn't even know that the ancestors was working with her and she was doing ancestry work. But I found out my great, great grandmother, yeah, great, great grandmother uh, was adopted and she was a uh, American Aborigine. You know, um, she was, you know, and then I researched and I found that when the United States came in, they were separating Indians away from their parents. So just, uh, I just can't imagine that trauma that she experienced uh, being separated from her parents. That, that had to be traumatic. And I also saw where that pattern was in our family, you know. Uh, where we had problems taking care of our own children and we became separated or the state came in and separated uh, our family instead of us getting real therapy or help. So I'm really seeing the patterns uh, in doing this ancestral work. Yeah, you know, because when I first got started honoring the ancestors, it's beautiful connecting with them. I was I was ecstatic when I first made my connection with the ancestors. I was ecstatic and I knew it was connection there. And they do have my back, but sometimes they, they push me to change things in myself that they didn't have the tools. They didn't have any the tools or they didn't have access to any of the, they couldn't use their ancient knowledge at that time to heal themselves. So they're teaching me how to use ancient modalities such as psychic, um, psychedelic therapies and this Know Thyself program to really heal myself and really think about what's going on with me. It's a very beautiful journey. Um, it is. And I'm starting to see too where my family of origin, now that I'm doing the healing work, the ancestors are showing me where my family of origin is starting to 
merge with my relationship with the ancestors because I don't have a relationship with them. And so my ancestors are teaching me to understand their stories, to go through the ancestry and learn their stories so I can really understand more about them. You know, changing my perception of them uh, by learning their stories and learning their own experience with the trauma in this family, uh, the things they have experienced. So uh, it's really, really interesting. It's really healing. I can't really put it into words, but I'm learning so much as I look inside myself. And it's really because I'm having to look on the inside and 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 do the ancestry work and look at myself because it's really a journey into self, you know, and do that shadow work as, as correcting those patterns, um, shifting my consciousness. Um, it's, it, it is challenging, but it's, it's very well worth it. Like I said, I don't see many people come, you know, talk about the ancestral work. You know, they don't. I, I haven't heard anyone, but that 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 consists of doing the psycho genealogy, because sometimes you don't even know how psychologically you've been affected by hundreds of years of trauma until you start looking at yourself and that's what the know thyself helped me do it helped me look at myself it helped me look at myself and then and really look at my family of origin and start questioning who am i who am i who am i just asking me myself those questions looking in the mirror you know my ego my ego is thought something totally different from the journey that I'm going on now. My ego is totally being torn away as I work the Know Thyself course and start doing the character work and healing some of these genetic patterns within me. I'm changing, you know. Uh, if I wouldn't have done this psychogenealogy work, that's where most of my work is uh, consists of and then after getting to that, getting back to that inner child who I really was, my real authentic self, without the the other things that were passed on to me. Oh, I just dropped my stuff, sorry, you guys. Doing that work. Uh, it's not easy, you know? But that's what the ancestors are pushing me to do. Yeah, they have my back. But most of the times they be pushing me, be like, okay, have you ever thought that you probably need to change this in yourself? But we noticed this right here, and we know that we got a problem with this. You know, it's all about that character work, too, because they are pushing us to heal the things in ourselves that they didn't heal in the, themselves. So, like I said, it's... It's a beautiful journey. It's bittersweet. Uh, because some of those ancestors, some of the family members that I don't speak to, those relationships, I'm still learning how to repair. And the ancestors are helping me learn their stories to understand them more. You know... Uh, I'm still working on it, you guys. Still connecting with the ancestors. Uh, but I wanted to come here and talk about ancestral medicine. Because this is all ancestral medicine. This is all ancestors' work. Um, this is all ancestral healing. And I wanted to come here and share that because I, I didn't know of many people. I didn't hear. I haven't heard many people sharing on that and talking about this shadow work and talking about this healing and what it all consists of. Uh, and like I said, I came here down here today just to connect on the river. It's so beautiful out here, you guys. It's beautiful. I like this is my favorite area too. I connect with it, you know, with that feminine energy, goddess energy here. 
I love this statue too. Uh, something mystical in this little circle. I come down here and just sit on the river and think about the ancestors, connect with nature. Well, thank you guys for being here with me today. I hope something in this video resonated with you. You know, um, I hope you could grab any sort of uh, information from this. I just thought I would share a piece of my journey with you and how I'm growing and connecting with the ancestors uh, as I do the work on myself. Good luck. Namaste. Light and love. I share loved ones.